Hi guys, it's Queenie here and I'm back with another heal and build video. Probably be thinking, does Queenie do anything else but heal? It's my preferred role. My team knows I absolutely love healing. Um, I think it's one of those roles I can actually stay alive to. Um, Let's get into the build. What I tend to do when I'm put on together a healer build, I use sledgehammer more than anything because it's proccing an extra 10% damage bonus for the team as well as the future initiative bonus. I use the crossbow specialization. Um, I take the famas along with me, uh, but you can choose any preferred weapon you like to. I use a shotgun mainly. I switch from Scorpio to sledgehammer throughout the raid or whatever I'm healing. Um, I currently have the lefty with me to help proc sledge when needed. Uh, I got 15% shotgun damage, 12% damage to armor and 9.5 health damage which should be damage to target out of cover. Um, the talent is perfect sledgehammer dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on the target. Targets that are marked will take 40% more damage to armor and have a minus 30% Movement speed mark will disappear after 10 seconds. I wish it was longer. I use a OP's future initiative build. I've got the mask which I've rolled repair skills and I've got a skill haste mod on it. I've got the holster which is repair skills I got knee pads which is repair skills I use the chest piece which has got repair skills you can actually roll skill haste onto one of the future initiative pieces which I normally do but in this precise moment at time I don't I, the reason why we use future initiative, two pieces gives us an extra 30% repair skills, which is bloody fantastic. Three pieces gives us an extra 15% skill haste and a 30% skill duration, which means our skills are on a faster cooldown with skill haste and they last a little bit longer with the skill du duration. The ground set bonus is ground control. This talent is absolutely fantastic. It increases your your teammates' weapon damage by fifteen percent while you're at full armor. Um, when you repair an alley within five meters of you, you're also repaired. For 60% of that amount, which is fantastic. The talent on the chest piece, this is the main reason we use the chest piece, is increase ground control damage bonus from 15% to 25% means we get an extra 15% between 15 and 25% extra weapon damage, which is flipping that fantastic. We use the I'll um the BTSU 
glove, which gives us an over overcharge when you're at tier 6. Uh, destroying your hive grants overcharge for 15 seconds. Your teammates' cooldown are pretty much instant. All allies are unable to benefit from this effect for 60 seconds. We also use an Alps backpack. We use that because we get a brand step bonus of an extra 20% repair skills. Um, I've also got repair skills and skill haste rolled onto that. The talent we use is opportunistic. Enemies you hit with a shotgun amplifies the damage they take by 10%, which is really really handy i tend to mark anything i see you when i'm healing in rates the bosses ads it's just a shame i can't put an extra 10 percent damage on one of my teammates right, the skills i use is the chem launcher Uh, the mods I use for the chem launcher are heal and skill haste which helps with the cooldowns if you've got a person in your team that key, you have to keep healing which is normally me when I'm DPS it was one point the healer actually ran out of chem heals because of me I also want the Restore Hive, uh, the mods I have on that are Healing, Range and Health. I go for Range over plus 4 charges because the range on your hive when you pull it down is bigger than when you're using the plus four charges on it. And thanks for watching the build guide and if you like what you saw smash that subscribe button like and share guys thank you I'm about to show you one of the many ways we can actually kill Buddy and Lucy. This way is splitting them up. Lucy will go in this corner where I've got the hive. The hive will go on the lamp. I have two people in Buddy and Lucy's room on the servers. I have a healer which is going to be kiting Lucy and I've got somebody who's going to be kiting Buddy. What is actually going to be happening in the fight is um, I will be kiting Lucy into the room and kill him it's gonna be kiting buddy over to the cafe as we start the fight we will crouch below these desks so that when the dogs come out and do the spin in the middle Enjoy. we yeah, don't nice. get killed Once the spin is done, we press the laptop to get aggro. Actually, I think I need to bring him in, don't I? I, I will oh. bring Lucy over here. I will hide behind this board here. Right, Lucy's in, spinning. Where I will tell 
the other team that Lewis is in the room, they'll tell me that Buddy's in the room and we'll start damage. I will heal my teammates from the Lucy spin. We'll keep the health even. And the eight counter is finished pretty quick and easy. Nice work, guys. Easy mode.